Hi guys, it's Erpa here and in today's video I will show you guys how to make that amazing effect that you just saw in the intro. This effect will be really easy to make and I will give you guys a bunch of presets, so stay tuned for that. The only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the Universe plugins, Cypher plugins and the BCC plugins. I'll leave a link to them all in the description as well as a tutorial on how to download them absolutely for free. But enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to make this amazing build up effect is to turn up the clip. How to do that is press on the clip, press Ctrl R, that will open the written controls. What you will do now, you will find the first one we see the numbers, so right here. And from there we're gonna go three frames to the right, so one, two, three, right here. Press on the arrow, press add speed point. What we'll do now, from here we're gonna go 30 frames to the left. So, 30, press on the arrow and add another speed point. Once you've done that, you're gonna go about in the middle and press on this and add speed point. But what you usually do now is press on the arrow and change the speed, but we are not gonna do that. We're gonna right click on the clip and open the return card. What we'll do now, we'll zoom in until we see the arrow in the corner right here, press on it and make sure that the only thing that's ticked is the return speed. So we have a line and if we press on the line, three keyframes should appear like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag this first part down to about 45%, even less, but it depends on the case. And drag this up to about 230, above looks good. So make this to about 230 and this face about 45%. You can play around with it yourself. What we'll do now, we'll add key from anywhere besides this and drag this part down to about 50% just to create that slow move. So it looks like So now we're basically done with the time mapping and in my opinion that looks absolutely insane. So what we'll do now, we can just close out of these by just pressing on these. We'll actually sync the clip up with the music right now. So how to do that is find the beat in the music you want the kill to happen on. So right here and add a marker, press M on your keyboard. I already made that as the yeah, marker. Then you go to your clip and find the first frame the numbers appear. So here's the first frame they appear. Press M on your keyboard and then turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy to just slip it into the markers arena line like this. What you do now, you will just uh, drag this out to you take away all the space right here. And it should look something like this. As you see guys, it's perfectly synced. But what we'll do now, we'll actually go to FX and drag in an adjustment clip and we're gonna make so it ends right with the numbers up here so or on the markers but something like this press on the adjustment clip and then you're gonna go to the description and in the description you should find the link to a google drive folder where you will find a preset i left so basically just download that preset and now we'll show you guys how to use it so press on this adjustment clip, go to Fusion, open your downloads and you should have a new file called RGB shape white and black. Take that and basically just drop it. And now you just connect it real quick and you'll see that it looks pretty crazy and the shake is going wild. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to the edit tab and we can save it real quick and we're gonna find the frame where the slow mo starts. How we'll do that, we'll press on the clip again, press Ctrl R and we'll see that here the yellow starts. So here is where the slow mo starts. So we'll just zoom out there again and drag the adjustment clip so it starts right there. And now we can undisable the adjustment clip by pressing D on it and press X on this. And now it looks crazy too, but we're gonna fix it. Uh, press on the adjustment clip again and go to the fusion tab. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna press start with making the shake. So press on the shake and on the first frame, so you just drag the cursor as much as you can to the left, key from the amplitude, then you go about four fifth into the clip, so about here, key from it again and go to the end and key from it again. Then you go to the middle key from you made and make this drag this down all the way to 0 0.150. Then you go to first frame key, key from we create and make it all the way to 0. What we'll do now, we will take this edge shooting, I don't know if, how we pronounce that, but hopefully it's right. Key from the first frame we see the effect and go about in the middle. Don't need to be exact, but around in the middle, keep from that. And then you go 
one third into the video so about here it can be a bit more but about it keyframe it again and then you go to first keyframe again and just drag it up to down to zero and it should look something like this if it's lagging a lot just right click on the clip and turn on render cache color output and then you go to playback and render cache to set it to smart and it should be better it looks amazing so what we'll do now we'll just add a real quick kill effect so how we're we gonna do the kill effect you're gonna do fx again and drag in an adjustment clip but this time make it after the kill happens so where the kill should effect should happen and what we'll do now we'll press on the adjustment clip we just created go to fusion tab and what we'll do now we'll drag in exactly the same preset but we'll delete the inserting so like this so we only have the shake and now we'll just connect it real quick and now we'll do some keyframing on the first frame keyframe the amplitude on what it is then you go 50 frames to the right so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 15 right here keyframe it and drag it all the way to 0 the amplitude and it should look pretty good so something like this if it's lagging just turn on the round the cache again in my opinion that looks absolutely sick and if you go to the description in the same google drive folder as you downloaded the preset you should see an overlay basically download that overlay and just drag it in and you'll see that it's like black but we're gonna fix that just press on the overlay go to the fusion tab press the media arm press control space and so show the dot here right here press on it and press add if it doesn't work just do it many times it's a bug and on the reference just make it black and it should disappear and what you need to do now you need to make so the middle of this overlay is where the kill happens so around in the middle and what, if you have your cursor over the overlay you should see two like rectangular things in the corners basically what you're gonna do you're gonna make it like this so, so you show in the middle not exactly but around like this and you'll see that it is pretty cool and in my opinion that looks absolutely sick and it's basically just uh, some things left to do you can save the overlay right now and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to adjustment clip again go to the fusion tab press on here press ctrl space and search up uni.glimmer add that and make threadle shot to about uh, 75 usually looks good and change it to something like I usually take aquatic that looks pretty good in my opinion then if you go down you should see something called glimmer optic so go to fast when we see it keyframe the glimmer optic then you go 20 frames to the right so 1, 2, 3, 20 right here keyframe the optic again and drag it all the way to zero and it should look something like this yeah And if you undisable the overlay too, it looks pretty good. It's pretty laggy right now. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a sub, comment tutorial ideas, and see you guys in the next video.